Colin, a very warm welcome to Falkirk. Training for the first time this morning with your new teammates. What's been your uh, first impression so far? Really impressed with, with everything. Um, the group of lads, first of all, all seem like a very close knit group for a team that's probably only about a week to two weeks into their sort of pre season training, um, which is a, a really good sign from my point of view. You can see that, you know, camaraderie sort of on the training pitch and then people pushing each other and the standard was brilliant out there. Um, really enjoyable session as well. From my point of view, just delighted to get to get in and, and start training properly and getting to know the lads as well, which is always a, which is always your initial sort of challenge when you come to a new club, looking to uh, looking to gel with the players, link up with, with players, show them what, what I'm about and, and how we can sort of work together and uh, I'm just really excited basically by the, the opportunity to come here and be part of a, of a successful team to do really well this season. I think I spoke to a lot of the players since they've come in and um, not that it's the motivation or stuff, but it's a, something a different challenge than actually a team that's the outset is to try and, and win a league and, and that's something that excites people. It is, yeah. It's, it's a really exciting challenge to, to be part of this group of players that the, the manager and the coaching staff have put together and are putting together. So, yeah, our aim is to, is to have a really successful season, win lots of games and get us promoted basically, you know, get us back up to where we want to be. Um, and it's really exciting from my point of view coming in to, uh, to try and help with that process and, and, and just yeah, be part of a successful, uh, successful team that wants to challenge um, at the right, the right level. As a kind of one of the older heads in the dressing room, but somebody who's got a lot of experience in international football, English Premier League, all, all, and Scotland, uh, do you see that as a role for you in terms of some of the younger players helping them? Obviously, at the moment, there's still strikers we brought in, presumably by the manager, but to help develop people uh, and that are your role in terms of the team? Yeah, I think first and foremost, I want to come here and hit the ground running. I want to start games, I want to play, I want to score lots of goals, I want to assist lots of goals, I want to be um, a really key player for the team, you know? Um, and, and ultimately, yeah, you're judged by scoring goals, and I know that I've, I want to score lots of goals this season, I want to you know, get back to playing because I've had a really frustrating last season, and that just makes you hungrier to grab this opportunity with both hands and um, I'm looking forward to the challenge of it, but first and foremost, that's my aim is to come in here, get myself as fit as I possibly can, get myself playing, get myself scoring goals, and of course, uh, helping some of the younger lads share some of my experience or things that I've learned over the years to, to help better myself that I've learned. If I can pass that on to some of the lads, then I'll be absolutely delighted to do so. Um, so, yeah, it's a really exciting challenge for me from, um, from both of those uh, points of view. You're fairly local to Falkirk, so I'm assuming that you know quite a bit about the club already, but um, is it an awareness that you had in terms of the impact of the club and the town, and uh, was that part of the decision-making process, and is it making you want to come here? Yeah, living in the area, definitely, I, I stay in Larger. Um I've been living there for the past two and a half, three years, so I feel really settled there with my family, my wife and my two kids. Um, very much feels like home. So yeah, I've been living there for two years, playing for other teams, but always keeping an eye obviously on, on Falkirk being the local team. <coughs> and um, yeah, I was gutted to see the, the way the season unfolded last year, um, because it's, it's a, a huge club with massive potential and a really strong fan base. Um, so many positives and uh, it's just a matter of us as a group clicking together this season, growing, getting, gaining that confidence by working hard with each other day in day out which will hopefully then bring lots of victories and help us to, to, to get promotion from this league which I think would be massive for, for the whole place. Um, so that's definitely an exciting thing from my point of view being so long but living so uh, close by. Uh, massive incentive there to, to be part of getting the club back to where we where we want to be. Football fans will obviously 
watch you play against Falkirk before, but it's only been a few years now. Um, what is your message to Falkirk fans in a way, I suppose, what can they expect to see from Conor Sharon on the pitch next season? I think uh, what they can expect from me is that I'll I'll leave everything out there sort of thing. Um, I'll, I'll work hard, which is which is a given, which should be the base. Um, but I've got no doubt that I've got a lot of quality left. Um, I'm 32. I still feel really, really strong, really, really fit. Um, so I've got lots of goals left in me. I've, you know, I'm, I'm quick, I'm powerful. You know, I know I can cause lots of problems for for defences this season. And also just from training there today, we've got some really, really talented. Uh, midfield players there, wide players that even from just today I know that I can link up and we can both help each other out from them assisting me and from me let's say assisting them and, and just basically gelling together and I can already see small little signs with, with training there today um, so that's exciting to build upon that but yeah I, I've got a lot to offer I feel um, physically um, and just just looking forward to getting back playing, scoring goals, which is which is the main thing, which you know every striker wants to be doing. So I just want to be part of of uh, of that playing, scoring goals, winning games. You know. In terms of playing games, you've come in at the right time, I suppose. We've got, we've got three games in the next week, leading two games friendly, leading up to that Livingston game next Saturday. For you, obviously, um, you can see from there you'll be keeping yourself fit. But is it now just for you that getting bits of match? Match time for the next couple of games leading forward to next weekend. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's been a strange one for me because I've missed probably the the large part of the fitness side of pre-season. But yeah, I, I take pride in how I look after myself, uh, fitness levels. But there's there's no substitute for getting out there to the pitch with the lads with the football. Um, so that was a, a tough session today, but just delighted to have it under my belt. I'll see what the fitness, uh, what the fitness team sort of feel like I need or where I'm at sort of thing, and then obviously the gaffer and the, the assistant will decide about my involvement over the coming games. But um, yeah, I'm just raring to go and just dive the wrong sleeves up uh, and get stuck into into playing games. Well, Connor, um, thank you very much for your time. We wish you the very best for your time here at Fulham. I'm sure we'll speak to you. And later on, once you've hit the back of the net for the first time. Absolutely. Thanks very much. Cheers. Cheers.